Hi, I'm Karthik Adkhasi and I will talk about my thesis on a computational framework for ensembles of diverse experts. We see many human computing problems, uh, such as the four examples shown, which involve multiple human experts. For example, a committee of judges on a talent show, subjective labeling of satellite images, multiple human annotators which label human behavioral data, and even crowdsourcing services. All these examples involve subjective evaluation by an ensemble of human experts. The second example is machine computing problems ranging from machine learning competitions on the left to multimodal signal processing problems which often involve ad hoc use of an ensemble of diverse machine experts and systems. My thesis focuses on a computational framework for ensembles of diverse experts where I have a ton of unlabeled data on the left which may also have some true labels. This data is generated by humans and then on the top I have a big pool of experts which could be human or machine experts and the task is to design this black box. I divide the problem into three sub-problems which involve modeling, analysis, and design. In the modeling problem, the question is, what is a realistic labeling model for an ensemble? In the analysis problem, I want to ask how we can define the diversity of an ensemble and how does it affect ensemble's performance. And in design, we want to know how can we methodically design diverse classified ensembles. I have worked on each of these three individual parts, but for the purpose of this talk, I will focus just on the first part, which is the globally variant locally constant, or the GVLC model. Let me give a few motivating examples first for the GVLC model. Consider the case of emotion recognition from speech. I will play out two happy sentences from an actor, and happiness typically corresponds to positive emotion. I am talking about the same picture you showed me. They think the company I will have a long future. Now both of these sentences are happy, but we see that there is different levels of disagreement between the labels assigned by four human annotators on the left and the right. Second case is human digit recognition, handwritten digit recognition, where the second row shows some prototypical handwritten digits, whereas the last row shows some aprototypical digits. So what we conclude is that the real world data is aprototypical and expert disagreement is data dependent. So we use these observations to give each expert a latent state which governs their perception and reliability. Expert reliability is then modeled by a noisy channel, and this leads to the following communication channel analogy for our model. We have a source state, and this source state generates the feature representation used by the expert, which in turn generates the true latent label. This true latent label then passes through a communication channel and corresponding to the distortion introduced by the experts and we get the multiple noisy labels. There are two latent variables in this model, the state and the true label. We then develop this model and construct a Bayesian network for learning various parameters in this model. I will not go into details of the Bayesian network, but we developed an expectation maximization algorithm for parameter estimation in the Bayesian network. And, we, and this model enables data-dependent reliability. It is easy to apply on unseen data, and it is a totally generative model. We tested this model on a wide variety of data sets involving multiple human and machine experts, and we observed a benefit on all the cases compared to several baseline models. I will just show results from, uh, this slide shows results from two common examples of handwritten digits classification and emotion classification, and in both cases we observe a benefit. Now we can go back to our big picture and start filling in individual blocks of the black box. Uh, the GVLC model fits into two sub-blocks, which is the feedback generated about reliability of experts and also a scheme for fusing labels from multiple experts. The other parts of my thesis correspond to the other sub-blocks of this picture, where we are asking the question as to how we can analyze the diversity of an ensemble of experts and how we can, in turn, design diverse experts themselves. Uh, my thesis subsumes many aspects of crowdsourcing, ensemble methods, behavioral signal processing, and active learning, and there are several theoretical, empirical, and system development challenges. Uh, these are some representative publications for my thesis. Thank you.